everyone. In this video, we will be solving another problem based on momentum. So here is the problem which reads how much momentum will uh, a dumbbell of mass 10 kg transfer to the floor if it falls from a height of 80 cm. Take its downward acceleration to be 10 meters per second square. So first of all, what we will do is we will list out the things that are given in the question. So first of all, we will uh, take the mass of the dumbbell which is given to be 10 kg. The height of fall for the dumbbell is given to be 80 cm and the acceleration of the dumbbell is given to be 10 meters per second square. And we see that the dumbbell has fallen from a certain height. Now when we drop a dumbbell from a certain height, the initial velocity that it has is 0 since we have not imparted any force to it. We have simply dropped it. So the initial velocity of the dumbbell is 0 meters per second. Now that we have listed the things that are given in the question, the second step for us is to check whether all these quantities are in SI units or not. So let us first check the mass of the dumbbell which is given in kg. Now kg is in SI unit so we don't need to bother about it. The second thing is the height of fall which is given as 80 centimeter. Now centimeter is not an SI unit so we need to get it converted to SI before proceeding to solve the problem. The third thing is acceleration which is given in meters per second square. Now this is in SI unit so we will not be bothering about it. So now let us convert the third step for us will be to convert this quantity which is not in SI to SI units. So let us do that. So 1 centimeter equals 1 by 100 meters as we all know. So 80 centimeters will be equal to 80 multiplied by 1 by 100 meters. This gives us 80 centimeters equals 0 0.8 meters which is an SI unit. Now that we have got this converted to SI, we can proceed and solve the problem. So here what we need to find is the amount of momentum that the, uh, that the dumbbell transfers to the ground when it hits the ground. Now this momentum is exactly equal to the momentum that the dumbbell possesses just before hitting the ground. So let us calculate that and that will be our answer. Now we know, we know the mass of the dumbbell but we do not know the velocity that it has just before hitting the ground and we need to know the, that velocity in order to calculate the momentum that it has at that instant. So to, uh, we need to first calculate the final velocity of the dumbbell. So for that what we will be using is the third equation of motion which is v squared minus u squared is equals to 2as. Now here we have the initial velocity which is 0. The acceleration is provided by the question which is 10 meters per second square and the displacement or the height uh, from height of fall in this case is given to be 80 centimeters which we have got converted to 0 0.8 meters. So the only unknown quantity here is this v that is the final velocity which we, we have assumed here to be the uh, velocity that the dumbbell has just before touching the ground. So here this quantity is supposed to be found out. So let us put the values that are known to us and from that we will be figure out, figuring out what is the value of v. So on putting this values we have v squared minus 0 squared equals 2 into 10 into 0 0.8 and this yields v squared is equals to 16 and on taking the square root we get the velocity to be 4 meters per second. So here we have got the velocity value and we also have the value of the mass of the dumbbell which is 10 kg and we require only these two pieces of information to calculate the momentum of the body at any instant of time. So let us do that. The momentum of the dumbbell just before it strikes the ground is given by P equals mass into velocity which is 10 into 4 and that is 40 kg meter per second. So here this kg meter per second is the unit of measuring momentum or we can see the SI unit of momentum and we should never forget to mention a unit, the unit of a physical quantity because a physical quantity is meaningless without its unit. So with this we have solved the whole problem and I hope the solution of this problem was fully understandable for you.
Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.